I've got it in front of me so that I don't go over and my I keep it moving in my feet.
Hi, everybody. Hi, David. Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Yes. All right. So I was looking at a link from a calendar I invite. Hear you. Cannot hear me. Another link from a calendar invite. Hear you. Cannot hear me. I can now. Another link from a calendar invite. Can you hear me now? Let's do AirPods. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> what would it be without having some techno technology difficulties out of the gate? <laughs> I know. You know, like, I've gotten so good at it where I could like pin it down right away. I know. So, you know, it's so funny because we're, you know, we're using technology all day, every day, but I'm so used to people doing FaceTime that anytime I have to jump out of FaceTime and go into Zoom, I'm like, okay, push buttons and like, whatever, we always work it out and we make it happen. So Everybody, welcome. It's 11 a.m. on the West Coast, Pacific time. Not even Hil Hurricane Hillary could stop us from today. <laughs> so we are going to go through the business of acne, a lot of acne questions. Um, we are going to present, actually, uh, before we get there, we're going to start talking about some, I like to call them juicy topics, but they've been brewing in the industry for a while. So we're going to talk about some industry-related things that are happening currently. So before we get started, I want to give everybody like one more minute and then we'll do an yes. introduction. Who are you? What we're doing? Because we're also, I'm going to send it out via newsletter. So those of you who aren't already subscribed to the newsletter, I will put the link in the chat. I'm also going to live stream it into the group and pin it to the top. But then there's all these goodies that get sent out via newsletter. So um, I'm letting people come in and then I want everybody to get to know you because you're so cool. I, well, I love you. And, you know, Marie and I have like every, so anybody that's been in the industry for more than a minute, we get on the phone together and I'm like, all right, we're going to talk for 15 minutes. And then we have two hour conversations. <laughs> Literally. It happens every single time. And I think Maria, I was on the phone yesterday for, so I have a new, you know, my iPhone's like eight months old and you know, when your battery goes dead twice during the day that you're on the phone too much. I'm like, wow, I should just literally, it's like going back to having a corded phone and plugging it in again. <laughs> no such thing. You just have to keep it, you know? You just got to keep it plugged in and charge and like all of that fun stuff. Cool. So I guess we'll start off with introductions. Obviously, if you guys are in the group, I introduced myself in the beginning. My name is Maria. I'm the admin of the Money Making SD group. And I was blessed enough to come by David's path, who is an acne like guru and amongst so many other things. Oh my gosh, so you're so kind. So Maria is actually one of the few people in the industry that has set up a really amazing space for estheticians at all levels. Um, if you're not familiar with the Money Making Esthetician group or if you're just joining the group, welcome. But there's so many resources. We're having conversations about all the different ways the group can add value and like all kinds of fun stuff. We also have a, a specified acne chat. So if you're not in our chat, you should go look at the chat. We, I know there's people in there posting all kinds of things. Like I just moved to New York and I need a new job. And Maria's like, that's, this is the wrong group. Go over here. <laughs> well, it's <yeah>. all, yes. <laughs> it's all good love. And I, you know what? I understand, but we're, we wanted to create a space for acne practitioners where they can literally go and learn and ask a question in real time about acne. We've got the chat, we're monitoring it in real time. What I've noticed, Maria, is that a lot of the posting happens at like 4 a.m. California time, which tells me there's a lot of people on the East Coast uh, getting in the chat group early and posting pictures and asking a lot of questions. And it's like, before I even wake up, I'm like 6.05 and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's 30 messages. Like, <laughs> it's okay, it's all good. All right, so let's see. How do we share my screen? So, David, do you want to tell us about yourself? Wish how you became to it. What is so cool? And obviously, you're probably like, "What?" So, David used to be the CEO of Dermalogica, correct? Yes, That's I worked. I worked for Derm. So, I was actually our titles back then were I was a regional director. So, I had at some point in my my seven year tenure with Dermalogica, I managed um, basically every region of the country, East Coast, West Coast. We had multiple reorganizations through that period, but I've had an opportunity to manage every state in the country. <laughs> oh, you were busy, huh? Oh my gosh, you know what? So when somebody calls me and they're like, I live in 
Pocatello, Idaho or something. I'm like, you know, I've been there. And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you guys, we're, I have been in the car driving around and going to salons, spas, meds, I mean, everything, dermatologist offices for the majority of my career. So in, I'll just give you a little background. Okay, Maria, we'll do like a, we'll do the CNN headline version of like what I've done. Um, I spent a decade with Aveda. Uh, many people know Aveda, of course, it's a really well recognized, more so for their hair care now than anything. Um, I spent seven years working with Rainy Jane at Dermalogica, which I hold that so close to my heart because it's amazing. I've been able to, you know, even with Aveda, work with the founder, which was Horst, rest in, pe rest in peace, Horst, um, and have this opportunity to work with brand founders, which is awesome. So Dermalogica, Rain Jane, I spent five years working for an Atlanta-based brand called Cosmetics as the global vice president. I mean, when you talk about travel, Maria, I was every, I basically lived out of suitcase for five years. I just came home, repacked my bag, and I was on a trip going somewhere else. And I would joke with my uh, brand assistants at the time, I would literally have like my life planned out nine, 10 months in advance. So January would come, we'd have a kickoff sales meeting with our team. I would jump on a plane, fly to Australia, New Zealand, fly back, fly over to Europe, do trade. I mean, it was like next level, but it was a great, 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 awesome opportunity to see aesthetics on a global platform. And then in 2017, I served as the CEO for Face Reality. So this really gave me an opportunity to really focus on what's going on in the acne space. And in 2018, started developing products and all the wonderful things that became Wish Skin Health. So here we are today now with a, a whole professional arm of the company, a beautiful training platform that we're going to go through and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm really excited to get to the training platform before we do. I one of the reasons, what is something that made you think like we need wish? Like something is missing in the industry because you have such a very unique background. You've worked with Face Rally, you've worked with German Logica, with the Veda, and on a global level. Obviously, you got to see things that I would hope one day I'm able to see. But where were you <laughs> like, where's the gap? What was that? So gap what did you hope to fill? I'll tell you that the, so here's the thing that we need to give ourselves more props for in our industry is the, the aesthetic industry, the cosmeceutical industry is way ahead of what is going on. And I know doctors love to come for me and I love it. I'm like, bring it, text me, call me. I'll have an hour conversation, three hour conversations with any physicians. Most dermatologists actually are treating with very outdated uh, information. And we're going to talk about some of those drugs when we get into the presentation that are kind of the common go-tos for acne treatment. But what we are having a better understanding and where I really dove in on a heavy level research basis is microbiome health. So, you know, we've been taught, I know we just, we, it feels like the pandemic was a, a nightmare and like, are we still alive? And what just happened? We just came out of this thing. We're like hand sanitizer and bacteria and germs and we got to kill this. Well, for a long time, we believed that we needed to annihilate all bacteria and like kill everything. And the reality, the reality is our immune system are actually, that's how we survive. That's why we're able to survive as human beings in the, in the world that we live in is through exposure to bacteria and viruses. So we've been hearing a lot about gut health uh, for the last several years and about prebiotics and probiotics and eating fermented foods and all these things that really help with good gut, gut health, with help with your overall health. But what we haven't talked a lot about is skin health. You have a, a thriving flora of bacteria on your skin. People freak out when I'm like, you have staph bacteria, you have yeast bacteria, you have C. acne bacteria, you've got all kinds of bacteria living and thriving on your skin. Now I have consumers usually freak out when I'm like, you guys already have the bacteria that causes acne, it's on your skin. The belief is well, we have to annihilate everything, we have to kill everything, and no, we gotta get rid of everything, and we've traditionally have overdone what is considered to be actually good for the skin and how we actually age really well. So overstripping the skin, alcohol-based products, um, a lot of scrubs, you know, we all had those beads, anyone that ever used Proactive back in the day, those little silica beads that went down the drain and into the ocean, the fish ate them, plastic guns, up and all of those things. We were just really, really so aggressive with the skin. So my opportunity was really to understand how do we support the skin to get it in its healthiest state? And there are a lot of internal, in the course, we talk about intrinsic versus extrinsic factors um, on why acne is created. And just because you have somebody that has C. acne bacteria on their skin, it doesn't mean that they're going to suffer from acne. So there's usually a genetic component somewhere in the family tree on either the parent's side, somewhere in the mix, 
there is someone who's had acne in their family. And unfortunately, that's when we have to be very careful and use products and treatments that are specific for that person's skin type because they have the propensity to develop acne. And that's the whole conversation around it. So that's where my passion came from. Um, I really started looking and doing a lot of research on what was happening in dermatology or the lack thereof. And you guys, this is really about time and money. So COVID is the exception because we had some warp speed products and things that hit the market very quickly, which is not normal. We usually have a, a 10 to 15 year cycle for when a drug is created and then all of its testing and then getting into clinical trials before it's actually released to consumers. And it's actually called a drug for a specific treatment. Now, I've been around long enough. I'm in the industry for over 25 years at this point, which is crazy. How has it been that long? Um, I've been involved in some clinical trials with some companies that spent a large, just under $100 million on testing a drug for acne. And the by the time we got to clinical trials, the side effects were so terrible, uh, extreme headaches and diarrhea and just a whole host of like bad things that the drug then falls out. So people are then having to decide, do I need to, do I want to have clear skin and constant diarrhea and migraine headaches or like the trade-off is too much. So that's usually when a drug falls out. Now that does not mean that they haven't spent 10 years and, you know, 300 million to a billion dollars to get a drug to the finish line. And it can actually have those adverse effects. So also one little tidbit about drugs, any side effect that a person in the clinical trial has, whether they're like, my skin was itchy, I had blurry vision, I had a headache, I can't sleep, I'm nauseated, I have a headache. Any of those things have to be reported in the drug facts. So that big brochure you get from the pharmacy with all the, the potential side effects, anything that is reported, whether it has anything to do with the drug or not, if it happens to you while you're in the clinical trial, they have to put it, put it as part of the potential side effects. That's why the commercials are so long. So that's how this started, Maria. And like, here we are, that was 2018. We launched uh, with four products in 2021. We launched the pro um, edition of the brand in February, 2022. And here we are rock and roll in August of 20. I can't believe it's August already, but here we are, August, 2023. Love that. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> now, um, you guys are more than welcome during the presentation to either put it in the chat or turn on your mics and ask questions. In order to be successful, especially with this, we have to ask questions. I know it's hard and it's shy, but hopefully I pray that we've created a safe space. No question is a bad question. I didn't want to say the other word, but no question is a bad question. Um, <laughs> I really want to make it a safe space. And I hope that you guys get a lot of value from this because there's, I call it the money making us titian because I want everybody to be comfortable actually making a living with your passion. That's my hope for everybody. Absolutely. And I love it. And you know, the, what I'm seeing is that the, there's varying degrees. Everyone's at a different level where, where they're at in their career. And we want the questions are what inspire the conversation and actually create a different thought process for how we actually present things. So absolutely ask away. So I know everyone's, you know, got a limited time frame too. If for some reason, we're not going to get to your question, we're going to provide you with information, um, how to reach us, contact us. And of course, comments um, below, we'll, we'll answer any questions that come up. And let's get started. All right. So Maria, tell me exactly how I'm going to share my screen. <laughs> so I already made your co-host. You just say share screen. Okay. Let's see. More participants, copy link, share screen. All right, here we go. And we're going to share our Canva. All right. So then we got some people over here on the right. Can you guys see my screen? Push this down here. Let's push present. We're going to present full screen. And of course, everything jumps around and present. All right. Can you see the screen? I can. Yes. Okay. All right. So this is, I love it. When things work, I love it. And I love seeing all your faces on the side over here. I love it. I can see Brittany. Hi, Brittany. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. So we're gonna talk about finding success in an acne focused business model. So those there's, I know that there's a lot of you that I've been chatting with. We had over um, 500 views of our last webinar and I live for all of this, you guys. So I'm gonna, before we get into actually talking about what's actually happening in the acne space, like I just said, been in the industry for over 20 years, my famous airbrush picture, we gotta update that, have a little bit more gray hair now, like post pandemic. 
but I have worked with brands of Ada, Dermalogica, Cosmetics, Space Reality, which, you know, I, it sounds like a lot of companies, but you guys, I worked 10 years, seven years, five years. Like I spent a lot of time with these brands. So it's not like I just jumped from company to company to figure it out. I really, that's the thing that I love about this industry is once somebody once told me that once you're in it for five years, you're in it for life. So it's awesome. So let's talk about, and I'm actually going to move all of our beautiful little faces over here so I can see my slides. We're going to go a little bit over what's happening in the current state of the industry in 2020, August 2023 in real time. We're going to talk about the importance of focus, of course, what an acne opportunity looks like for your business. We'll quickly review some misconceptions. These are the things that I hear the most about acne and like where people are having issues, the traditional versus the way and side effects that come along with traditional treatments, of course, the wish difference why wish works and pro tools we're going to go through that and staying relevant of course you know this industry is ever evolving and changing and of course we couldn't have a webinar with maria and the money making institution group without having some really amazing offers all right so let's click over here okay so for those of you that may or may not know there's been some noise recently we'll call that call it noise um, about brands and how they support i don't know how many of you have seen this have heard about it, um, but it caused a big giant uproar. I guess there were some brands that were requiring or asking for estheticians to require medical directors in their locations. And this created a, I'm gonna set my little clock right there so I can stay on time. This created a little bit of an uproar with, you know, we're selling hyaluronic acid, sunscreen, you know, uh, there's nothing crazy. These are not prescription based products. And what I was shocked by was how many estheticians are actually paying medical directors that have absolutely nothing to do with their businesses to carry specific brands. So I'm gonna tell you right now, save your money. Like that's ridiculous. You should not be paying a medical director to carry a brand in your space, your hard earned money um, for a quote unquote medically dispensed brand. So we have brands that have come to the market. I don't wanna name names because I don't want people coming after me. I don't want the haters in the comments <laughs> coming after me. But we all know these brands, sunscreen brands, um, specific brands that have been launched in the professional sort of aesthetic, medical aesthetic space that are available on Amazon or eBay or direct from their websites. Like, and it's created a little bit of an uproar. So as we know, there is a, or if you don't know, there's a change.org position right now. Um, I was talking back and forth with Ageless Ashley last night. And I was asking her, is there anything specific that you want me to mention or talk about while we're doing this webinar? And she said, tell people about the change their org petition. And of course, and I said we were going to cover these slides in our, in our presentation. So there's some specific things in here about transparent communication, exclusive wholesale, wholesale partnerships, of course, empowering education. All of these things are wonderful and amazing. And I believe that you guys have the power to choose your brand partnerships and your brand partnerships carefully. So as you are looking, this is the thing that I was, Marie and I were supposed to have a 15 minute conversation that ended up being two hours yesterday, was we are not taught traditionally in the aesthetic industry. You guys will go and you will research an ingredient deck, a product to like no ends, but no one is talking about actually teaching you how to research a business partnership or a long-term business relationship. So I said to Maria, I said, I'm, I, I don't want to drop bombs, but I also want to make sure that we are making sure that people feel empowered with their decision-making process. And so here is my advice that I want to give you guys. When you are looking at a brand, so here's usually what happens. You see another esthetician using it, or you've tried one of the products yourselves. So you're like, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this BB cream. And I want to place an opening order and get this product in my spa my clinic, my office, wherever I'm practicing. And I want to tell you that you need to take 15 minutes, just 15 minutes and do a little bit. I, you research the products to no, 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 you know, to the very end. And you will ask a lot of great questions about products. Research the company, do a Google search, get on their website, sign up for their email blast, find out what kind of consumer information is being directed to consumers. And I want you guys to actually look at either if you're finding it from the company website or you're doing a Google search, who owns the company? Is the brand that I'm choosing to partner with, is it public? Is it owned by a venture capital firm? Is it owned by a private equity firm? I could do a whole webinar about what each one of those things means, but I'm telling you right now, 
you need to look at the big picture of where a, a brand is in its life stage. So for myself, we are an independent brand. I self-funded this company. I have a lot of help and support. Thank you, Stephen, for putting in my business partner, for putting this presentation together. There's a lot of people and a lot of chemists and labs and things that I work with, but I am an independent brand. I don't answer to anybody. I'm not answering to a board. So what I have set out to do is to support independent businesses through this structure we call Wish Pro. There are so many brands available to you. The power of your dollar with everything is true. And you're going to spend a lot of money with these brands. So if you take the time out of the gate and spend 15 minutes, if you can't find the information, call the brand, ask the question, who owns this company? Is there still a founder in place? Has it been sold? Is it publicly traded? Publicly traded companies, uh, private equity, venture capital fund companies are going to operate on a very different basis. I know I can feel the hate coming from that right now, just for unveiling the curtain. But you know what, you guys, I've worked with both sides. I've been with a company private before it's been sold to um, an essay lauder or going public or doing an equity firm. It's a very different transaction. So I'm just giving you the information to do the research on your brand partnerships before you start. And of course, do all your research with the ingredients, the technologies, the education, all of that stuff. That's important as well. But I really want you to understand who you're getting in, I, in for lack of a better term, getting in bed with, because it's going to be a long-term partnership and you're going to spend a lot of money with these companies. So Take that to heart. And if there's a, actually going to be a town hall, and you know what, Maria, we'll post it in the notes um, underneath the when we're done with this. There's a town hall, I believe, at 4 p.m. on Pacific time through that change.org petition. So we'll post some information so you guys can find it um, after the presentation. So inclusivity, ethical and fair practice, um, joint marketing initiatives. These are things that are really great questions to ask a brand when you're partnering with. How are you going to help me? How are you going to support me in my, we're in an omni-channel environment, you guys. The internet's not going away. Websites are not going away. So myself as Wish Pro, what we do to help support you is all of our reels, anything that we're posting, um, all of our imagery, anything from our website in our course platform, we make those things downloadable so that I know if anyone spent time creating a reel, it takes a lot of time, energy, effort, and making sure your imagery looks great. But then you can just download whatever you want from any of the imagery, put it on your own website, post the product image on your personal Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever you're promoting yourself, and put your own tags that drag people back to your business point people to your business, bring people to your business. Those are resources that um, I know they take a lot of time and they take a lot of money. And if somebody said to me, David, when I started this, um, we are gonna give you all of the branding mar marketing opportunity, all this stuff, I would have said, I will pay you whatever it takes because it requires a lot of resources. Thankfully, we have people on our team, Stephen Namely, who oversees the, all the development of these amazing, you know, everything from photo shoots to the, all the ingredient imagery. And like, it takes a long time to source these things. So we make those available to, so that you can help market your businesses a little easier. All right. So what's going on in our industry today? So the current statistics are there's over 60 million people in the United States currently suffering with acne. It continues to be the number one skin condition in the United States. So when you guys are thinking about you, I hear Alexis talking back to me in the corner. Just ignore her. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Um, there are, when you look at a business opportunity and you're like, all right, I've got an, my aesthetics business going on. What do I, where do I want to focus? There are more clients running around with acne than ever in history. And it continues to get worse. We've all seen TikTok, Instagram. And my personal mission for you guys is that I want you to be the dominating influencers. I want consumers to literally think about you in your clinics, spas, wherever you're practicing, that your client says, I have got to talk to X for information about acne. I'm not going to go to TikTok and I'm not putting toothpaste on my breakouts and I'm not, you know, brushing my nose with my toothbrush to get rid of impaction plugs. We've all heard it. We've all seen it. And I have people send us messages, you guys. They email in um, from our website that they're using coconut oil on their skin and they're wondering why they're breaking out. I see people shaking their heads. <laughs> I know you can all relate to that conversation. Or when the, the client comes in and they're like, well, you know, I, I buy these products at uh, Walgreens and I see people actually commenting, other estheticians saying, you know what, 
I need to help this client. They can afford to buy this product at a drugstore. And I'm like, listen, we're in the professional industry for a reason. The reason we have all of this, I don't know if you can see my, our treatment serums back here. The reason we have this technology is it's above and beyond what's going on in a drugstore. So it's very difficult to navigate that drugstore space. And yes, there's a few products here and there. Someone's on a really tight, tight budget, but that's why we have a professional industry. So I'm like, no, we're not going to be recommending that for somebody with acne. Of course, the saturated marketplace, you guys, there's tons of products, services. There's so much going on in the industry today. It's almost overwhelming to a consumer. And I heard a lot of people complaining through the month of July into August, David, I'm having a very slow time. I don't know what to do with my business. And I'm like, well, what are you focusing on it? Usually you guys, I have a lot of, so I, I did, I added it up. I had like 53 conversations in a week with people that have nothing to do with wish. I was just talking to people in the industry and asking them, they're asking me about my experience of what do you, what do I think you should do? How can you help me? Um, there's never been more to choose from. So what are consumers looking for in 2023? Mastery. How do we master our craft? We focus on it. We continue to do education. You guys, this is not, I, in earlier webinars, I talked about my frustration with hairdressers in the Coachella Valley. And I don't want to throw shade because we're based in Palm Springs. I have a great hairdresser right now. And he actually has just moved here from Beverly Hills, practiced in LA for a long time. I'm like, because you went through continuing education, there's a lot of hairdressers running around out here that just went to beauty school 15, 20, 30 years ago, have never sought after any postgraduate education and are still doing what they always did. And I'm like, don't cut my hair like that. Stop it. Don't cut my hair like that. So you're never going to stop educating yourself in this industry. And this is the difference between status quo and what everybody else is doing and making yourself the expert and saying, I am going to master the art of treating acne, or I'm going to master the art of lashes in my business. I'm going to master the art of Brazilian waxes, whatever your passion point is to say, follow your passion, but that's really going to be the difference between good and great. And what people are willing to pay for moving forward in 2023 and beyond is mastery. We know that there's soaring price points, $200 serums, $300 serums, $4,000 facials in San Francisco. Like I get it. There's a market for everything. And there are people that are willing to pay for those products. You probably have all seen a client that loves her Lemire and the jar and the, the creams. And I'm like, are we still doing that? <laughs> DIY skincare myths. We can't, we're not about to do it yourself skincare myths that they're learning on Instagram. There are a few good people I follow on YouTube that are actually legitimate, but a lot of that is just crap. Um, the, every celebrity has a skincare brand now. I've been in the room, you guys. I've signed NDA, so I can't say what celebrities have I've done this with because I would get sued. I don't want that, but I can tell you they know nothing. I'm laughing hysterically anytime I see a celebrity trying to promote their brand or try to pronounce hyaluronic acid or a retinoic acid or talk about any sort of active, they just bomb. And it's laughable because it's a cash grab, but we all know that we need to separate the noise. Protocols and modalities have been slow to adapt in the acne marketplace. And that's predominantly because the drug cost to bring a drug to market. And of course, the esthetician revolution, you guys are the next generation of what can successfully treat acne. So I say, you guys will hear me say it a bunch of times through this presentation that staying focused is one of the single most important things you can do for yourself as a small business owner. So I don't use the words anti-aging in any of our marketing material. You guys know that the whole industry is obsessed with anti-aging and stem cells and DNA repair. And I'm like, the noise that I see it just in my Instagram feed being in this business is ridiculous. What you will notice um, and what I have noticed in the last six weeks, two months, there's a lot of sponsored posting going on on Facebook, Instagram, all over the place. I'm seeing sponsored posts. What, I, what this tells me is brands are reaching for ways to get, engage with consumers because their sales are soft, falling off. They're not getting the engagement they once did. And so they're trying to pay to get that message in front of you. Every time you see sponsored, someone's paying for that to put, to put themselves in front of you. So this is, it is like my passion. I preach it till the end of time. Like literally we have to focus on something that we want to do really, really well at so that we can execute it at the level of mastery, which people are willing to pay for. So like I talked a little bit about, a little about earlier, 85% of the people between 12 and 24 will experience acne at some point in their lifetime. Um, you know, most often when you think about acne, we think about teenagers. 
adult women are the highest percentage, the highest growing percentage of people experiencing the onset of acne. Now, there's a lot of reasons why that is. And actually, that came from the American Academy of Dermatology. It's actually going up. Um, you know, we have PCOS that we talk about in our, in our training about what that is, what needs to happen to treat it, often requires medical intervention. Um, you know, this is a growing uh, problem for not only, it's a whole host of problems, but insulin resistance, the high glycemic diet, all of these things can, can contribute to acne in someone that is prone to that. So it's just, a, it is not going away. There's a huge opportunity, obviously, with a lot of people um, with acne. So here are some misconceptions that I hear from estheticians most frequently. David, I can't make money focusing on acne. And I'm like, holy cow, <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth. So I'll tell you that the, you know, in most aesthetic schools, we did shout out to the other Brittany who is here watching this right now. Um, who's an instructor at a local school here. She invites me in to do presentations at our local aesthetic school, which you guys, some of these girls are driving two and a half, three hours to come to aesthetic school. And I'm like, that is commitment. I mean, come on, that is, that it's just mind boggling to me that they're driving that much. But the truth is that most aesthetic programs, depending on where you went to school in the country, I know we have people from all over the US and people international as well. Uh, the instructors don't have enough time to really go in depth with acne during the program. They're trying to get you through the finish line to get you to pass state board. And that's the goal of most aesthetic programs. Now, if you're in Florida and you're going for 230 hours or you're in California where it's 600 plus hours, or if you're even going through a master aesthetics program in states like Utah that offers a master aesthetics program, they're teaching you more about chemical peels, like how to actually get uh, understanding chemical peels, medium depth peels, but not necessarily going really deep on how to treat acne. So I will tell you, and from God's mouth to everybody's ears that is watching this webinar, the people that have excelled the fastest in my experience in this industry are the ones that have been focusing on acne. Now, it doesn't mean you can't make a lot of money doing lashes. It doesn't mean you can't make a lot of money doing Brazilians. I know estheticians that have phenomenal businesses focused on waxing. I get it. It is an opportunity. If you are passionate about helping people with acne, there is an awesome opportunity for focusing on acne. We've had entire franchises built around focused treatment models, whether it's blowout salons, you know, everybody knows about dry bar. We've got, it used to be called lunchbox wax, which there was one by my house when I lived in Northern California in Walnut Creek. And the logo was a little girl with a little lunchbox. And I laughed so hard. I thought it was so funny. I think a lot of people found it offensive. So they changed the name to, I think, radiant wax. But if you've ever seen one, so these businesses have been created around focus focusing on something and doing it really well and knowing that if I go into a radiant wax location or if I go into a dry bar, they're going to blow out my hair really well. They're going to give me a waxing service that's going to be better than what I can expect from somebody that maybe focuses on a lot of things. So it's definitely not true. You can make significant money. I'll give you a couple run throughs. So the second one, and for those of you that have been around for a minute, the proactive is the one thing. Every time you say something about acne, someone says, oh, you mean like proactive? And I'm like, okay, we have to stop saying that, people. Stop. Quit saying, is it like proactive? Yes, proactive is still around. It's in its like fourth. I believe that the company has been sold two, three, maybe it was sold by the dermatologist at Guthy Ranker. Guthy Ranker then I believe sold it to Nestle Skin Health, which we think of, of Nestle in the US as chocolate milk. <laughs> it's actually a very large company. And then they sold it to Galderma. And now I believe it's another fourth or fifth company that now owns it. So it's still there. It's still, you know, a foundational product that people will look when they search, like I'm going to go look at for some acne products and proactive. So back in the day, we thought we annihilate the skin. We scrub it to death. We got to scrub that acne off. We're going to use aggressive alcohol-based toners. We're going to blow the face up with a strong BPO product. We're not even going to give people maybe a moisturizer. There's no SPF in the brand back then. It was really about obliterating the skin on an aggressive level. So Anyone, anyone that's had anything to do, if you had acne yourself or you used act, had to use proactive back in the 90s, this is the, that skin is either sun damaged or they have accelerated the aging process because that is now we now we know with the information we have available to us that that is not how you treat acne and the total health and wellness of the skin long term. It is a very limited approach. So we're going to graduate people off of those people. So. Another misconception is that most acne sufferers are in our teens. 
And while that is partially true, you're going to have a lot of people between the 18 and 24 is not a teenager, young adult, we should say. There are a lot of people between 20 and 29 years old represent a huge portion of the acne population, 30 to 39 years old, over 35% of people and 40 to 49 years old. I can tell you when we test products, we have people in their 50s, 60s, that are like, I still have acne. And I'm like, you do, you have a form of hormonal acne and we have products that can treat it, but it doesn't matter. Acne can show up at any point in your life. And there it's, you know, it has a lot to do with a lot of internal factors, a lot of diet factors. It still is the number one skin condition in the United States. So just think about that. It's number one. Um, another misconception I hear is that a physician or a doctor can offer a better approach than what I can offer. And I will tell you, so my, one of my coworkers used to say to me, David, stop calling everybody guys. I'm like, all right, ladies. Okay. Ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I hope there's some male estheticians in here, but 98% of our industry is still predominantly female. So I say guys, I mean, you know what I mean? Ladies, everyone that's interested, any esthetician that's watching this, I want to refer to everybody. So this is what pains me the most because Anyone that has ever gone to the physician, if you yourself had acne or you've ever, ever sent a client with acne to a dermatologist, there's a pretty specific protocol that they put people through. And you know, if you're in a, whether you're in an HMO, a PPO, different insurance plans, or you're paying out of pocket, the physician still has a certain amount of time that they can actually spend with you. And they're generally, there are some exceptions. You, this is not for everybody. Generally not saying, what does your diet look like? Are you playing sports outside? Are you sweating a lot? Are you drinking whey protein, protein shakes? You know, do you drink a lot of dairy-based lattes? Like they're not asking these questions. They're come, the patient's coming in. They're like, all right, we're going to go through one of these therapeutics and then boom, out the door. And then as we're going to go through, we're going to talk about some of these side effects from traditional treatment, but it is not true. This is a, this is about education, educating yourselves on what your clients are taking. So when they come in and they're like, uh, my doctor put me on spironolactone. So in my previous life, if a, a client came in with acne and they were on any kind of a medical therapeutic, we're like, go away. We can't do services on you. I wish we don't approach it that way. We actually are like, you still got to use a, you still got to wash your face. You still got to use an SPF. We can still do some treatments on you, whether they need to be hydrating, or maybe we're going to do a very light form of chemical exfoliation. There's opportunities for us to work together with physicians and really work that process through to help this client get clear. So don't ever think that a medical approach is better than what you can offer. There are some cases, and we teach that in the course about when you need to refer somebody to a doctor. It's not every case. So a traditional way. So these are four common medications I'm gonna go through quickly on the slides um, after this, but spironolactone, isotretinoin, which is the, most people refer to it still as Accutane. There's a lot of lawsuits for Accutane for the side effects and birth defects. It was rebranded as isotretinoin, and it's still in the market today. And of course, uh, antibiotics. So we're gonna quickly go through a couple of the most common ones that are, are happening. So the traditional approach is better than what you can offer, that is not true. So let's go and talk about some, okay. So usually right out of the gate, antibiotics. Everybody knows antibiotics, right? So I tell a story, which I hope he never sees one of these things because I actually talk about it quite frequently. I was dating somebody in Atlanta who was a physician. Now a physician, mind you. And I said to him, I'm like, your face is a mess. You're flaky, you're inflamed. What are you doing? He's like, well, I use clindamycin. Now, mind you, he's in his early thirties at this point in time. Okay. He had acne as a teenager. He's like, I use clindamycin and I use retin micro. And I'm like, what? No one on the planet so there's a couple of reasons why, but nobody on the planet was supposed to be put on antibiotics permanently. That was not ever supposed to be the intention behind an antibiotic. And you guys would be mortified if you knew how many deaths occurred annually based off bacterial antibiotic resistance. This is from the overprescription of antibiotics. And what we're also, I just read some studies, physicians are now starting to recommend benzyl peroxide use. I refer to it, the trade, the the chemical name is BPO. So if you hear me say BPO, I mean benzyl peroxide in conjunction with antibiotics. And what that is actually doing is it's helping so that the antibiotic, the bacteria doesn't become resistant to the antibiotic, but really the BPO will do the work without the antibiotic. So these are typical, topically, I actually say that's better than obviously taking an internal where you ruin your gut health as well. 
but generally clindamycin, you'll see that as a prescription. Boronolactone, for those of you that don't know, this is a hormone disruptor. So one thing that I, I like to make very clear is that we love to treat side effects. We love to say, oh my gosh, you have a headache, you need to take some Advil or some aspirin, or you have this uh, inflammatory disease. Okay, you know what? We're gonna give you things that suppress your immune system. We don't like to talk in the US about root causes of disease. We like to treat symptoms. So each one of these medications, so the reason that spironolactone gets prescribed, so men will develop breast tissue if they're in their teenage years because it suppresses testosterone, progesterone. It's meant to actually, the primary reason for this, you guys, is to lower oil production. So we're suppressing hormones. I don't know how much research you've done on hormones, but let me tell you that hormones are responsible for a lot of things in addition to oil production how you feel, your mood, your outlook, your body temperature, your appetite, your a whole lot of things. So we don't want to shut down, suppress our hormones so that we can suppress oil production. It's just a very, and I've had dermatologists actually say this to me directly, like, oh no, I just put my patients on spironolactone. And you know what, while they're on the medication, it actually does help because it lowers the oil production and it does help their acne a little bit, but we're treating a side effect. We're not treating the root cause. So Accutane, this is the one, the mother of them all with the most side effects of any of the acne medications. It, this had to get its whole own slide because there's so many things, the things that are really, there's entire Facebook groups dedicated to this about people that have really long-term issues after they're done taking uh, isotretinoin, Accutane. This is not something that I recommend only in extreme, extreme cases is this a drug that I would say is necessary. And when you're going through our course, we teach you actually, you know what, this person, this type of acne, you're going to have to refer this person to a physician and knowing when to do that. And that's okay. That's all right. These medications are effective in the little 5% that they're actually needed for. They can be effective for that. But the suicidal behavior, the suicidal thoughts, the hair loss, the, there's something in here called a black tongue, I believe, a black hairy tongue. I'm like, what is that? What is that? And that poor person, like, reduce vision, like just all kinds of weird, really weird things that happen to the body. So we go through this in more depth in the course as well. So I know this is a lot of, this is slide cracks me up because that's a lot of information on drugs. So don't think that you have to remember all of this. You can always go back and watch this webinar again. Don't think you have to memorize everything that was just on the slide. Okay. So here's where I take a big giant breath of relief, sigh of relief. And this is where I take a sip actually of my tea the moment your business changed forever. So my goal as an industry veteran, watching all the ups and downs of the industry and trendy ingredients is coupled with the viral DIY acne treatment post is that I understand we have to give you the aesthetic professional, the tools to be competitive and keep that competitive advantage to remain the authority in the acne treatment space. I am passionate about it. You guys, I don't do anything with lashes. I am not talking about anti-aging, even though that's a side effect of acne treatment, healthy aging. Um, I really am passionate about acne. So that's what we do all day. We're focused on it nonstop. I have raw materials coming into my lab all the time that I'm testing and we put out to the market to say, let's check this for real in the real world. So that was really identifying what the opportunity was. So the difference, so here's the number one question people ask me, what's the difference between you and face reality? And you know what, you guys, I work for face reality. I love my, I still have people, friends that work at face reality. The difference is a, it's a different approach to skin health. It doesn't mean that face reality is wrong. It doesn't mean that face reality is right. It doesn't mean that wish is wrong or wish is right. It is a different approach to skin health. So we approach the skin from a microbiome standpoint. And this is about getting health back into the microbiome so the skin can heal itself. There's a bunch of different ways you can do that with a bunch of different serum options, professional treatments. These are things that we teach in the course about how you're actually going to do that. But that's the primary difference. Our course is really designed to give you the foundation of acne, what your clients are going to present with. Um, if they're it's rosacea, there was some talk in the group this morning about fungal acne. Like, what is that? Do I treat that? This person has a staph infection, all those triggers that you're like, you know what? You need to go see a physician because I'm not, this is without out of my scope to treat that. How do we know how to do that? We have to continue to educate ourselves on making sure that we understand that. So we call this the professional roadmap. So we formulate our products using a computational chemistry method. 
It's all about optimizing the health of the microbiome. So also you guys, acne aside, microbiome health optimization, you age slower. When your microbiome is in its healthiest state, you age slower because you're not there's not adversity, your, your transepidermal water loss is less. The healthy bacteria in your skin is fighting off other things. Like it's, it's a totally healthy approach to your overall skin health. Adversity memetics, we talk about what that means as a treatment approach, prescriptive and long-term clear skin products. And of course, having access to the court, to the academy. So I'm just gonna touch on this a little bit because it is a high science term, but essentially computational chemistry is us taking all the guesswork for you out. So when you come to me and you say, David, I've got inflamed acne, we'll say that it's moderate. We've already done the research to say these are the most effective ingredients to treat that type of acne. And this is by ingredients that have been on the market for a very long period of time with high efficacy records of success. So this is not a new ingredient. There's a lot of peptides and things coming down the pipeline. I'm not going to give you a product that maybe is going to treat this condition. I'm going to give you a formally researched computational chemistry approach to actually having really, really effective results. So talking about the overall approach, we treat acne from a six pillar approach. Anytime you're treating acne, you've got to tr talk about the microbiome health. This is bringing your bacteria back into balance. This is regulating oil production, follicular epidermal hyperproliferation. I just said it right for the first time ever, you guys. I always mess that word up. This is medically called retention hyperkeratosis. This means that the cells are shedding too quickly. You've got to address that. You've got to treat the inflammation in the skin, which we've recently learned that all acne, it doesn't matter if it presents inflamed or not inflamed, there is inflammation happening in the skin when acne occurs at any level, whether it's showing up inflamed that day or not, inflammation started when the acne started to develop in the skin. Pigmentation, we often have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. We got to address that. And of course, we would be amiss by not talking about nutrition, dietary guidance to our clients. So next generation acne treatment, of course, we're talking about microbiome health and really making sure that we're tackling this from a whole body holistic approach. So some of these actives, you guys, you might be familiar with, the salicylic acid is great. It's actually the active ingredient. It's willow bark. It's what aspirin is. It's a natural anti-inflammatory. It's the only conventionally used beta hydroxy acid that is lipid based can go down into the follicle or the pore and actually decongest that because it is oil going into oil to really decongest the skin. Benzyl peroxide, it is a, there's a love-hate relationship with it. You really know, need to know how to use it properly and prescribe it properly. Toterol, anti-inflammatory, everybody knows about niacinamide. It's a hero ingredient for pigmentation, acne, oil production, evening skin tone. It's just vitamin B3, it's a hero ingredient. And uh, we use it in um, our moisturizers and, and one of our toners. Of course, zinc, also anti-inflammatory. Sulfur has uh, anti-keratolytic properties to it, anti-inflammatory properties to it, antibacterial properties to it. Vitamin C is an unsung hero when the skin is healing from acne, kind of keeping that PIH or that post-inflammatory pigmentation from occurring. Multi-weight hyaluronic acid, if you're using benzyl peroxide in your treatment, we got to put moisture back into the skin. And this is do we want to put oil-based moisture in the skin or do we want to put water-based moisture into the skin? This is really up to you to decide what's going to be the best moisturizer for where your client is in their clearing process. Of course, we all know how, how beneficial retinoids are. Gluconolactone is a uh, uh, ingredient we use in a couple of formulas. formulas. It's a polyhydroxy acid, very, very gentle, but helps keep the cells turning over, keeping that we don't want to cause any adhesions and clogging of the follicle. Lactobacillus ferment is an ingredient you may not have heard about. It is a probiotic. It's actually in the serum that is on your screen, Phytoactive Clearing Serum. It's our number one selling serum. It is loaded with sebum suppression, pigment inhibition. It's a great peel prep. Um, this is when I say clients have crossed the clearing bridge. This is a support product to keep your skin healthy and clear for a lifetime. So there's a part where you're like, okay, we're gonna, now we're gonna get off our benzyl peroxide. We're gonna to continue to use a mandelic acid and we're gonna incorporate in phytoactive into your regimen, keep your skin glowing and healthy. THD ascorbate, that is a, a vitamin C ester. It's called tetrahexyl decal ascorbate and colloidal gold is part of that combination that actually creates, it's in this product here, if you guys can see it on the screen, it's called C21. This is a multi-molecular weight hyaluronic acid um, and it's got three versions of vitamin C. There is L ascorbic in there the THD and then cockadoo plum, which is just, it's one of my favorite products. 
You know, I, we, we're based in Palm Springs, so it's very, very dry out here. We have three different cleansers to choose from. I'm not going to go into a full product knowledge class here. I just want you to know that you have a lot of options. Um, Emerge is quickly becoming our one of our number one selling cleansers. We just launched it, what, two months ago? Uh, this is about repairing the biome, really barrier, healthy barrier function. You have to have a healthy barrier in order to have a healthy microbiome. And Emerge is a, you know, generally people are like, oh, I have acne, I can't use a creamy cleanser. Well, actually you can. If your skin is dry enough and you're knee deep in benzoyl peroxide and your skin is a little drier, you will eventually go to Emerge and it's okay. It's going to help rebuild that barrier strength. Confidently Clean is our 2% salicylic acid cleanser. It's a hybrid cleanser. Can be applied to the skin dry, massage it in, then add water. You can effectively do a double cleanse with one product. And then Calming Cleansing Gel is our hypoallergenic pH balance. Very, very gentle. It's infused with a lot of organic extracts, but you have three cleansing options to choose based off of where your clients are in their cleansing journal journey. So these are our treatment serums. Anything that you see as an RX um, has to be prescribed. So this is something for you in clinic. Very, you, ha you have an option, an opportunity based on where your client is in their clearing journey to have a varying combination of hydroxy acid strength. We use a chirally correct version called l Mendelic. Uh, acid, which is, there's a whole version of chirality, high sense. I won't get into unless we could do a whole nother webinar about chirality, but it causes less inflammation on the skin. So there could be varying versions of how the combinations of these products are used, depending on where your client is in their clearing process. So you have a lot of options there. Phytoactive clearing serum, I talked a little bit about it. These are some of the actives that are in there. Lysophosphatidic acid is actually a really amazing ingredient to help with the rigidity of pores. And people are like, you can't reduce pores. You can't do this. I'm like, well, actually, if your pores are really healthy, they appear tighter and appear smaller. So this lysophosphatidic acid, lysolecithin and less, less, see, I can't do them all. Can't do three L's at the same time. <laughs> all of those ingredients are in there for, to really help with healthy keratinization of your pores to really keep them firm gluconolactone, that PHA, um, all of those ingredients. It's got 21 actives in it, you guys. It retails for $38. It is a multifunctional powerhouse. And this is one of our one of the first uh, serums that I launched when we launched the brand. So it is a super powerful, amazing serum. I love it. A couple different moisturizers. I'm not going to go too deep in here. We've got uh, Acne Safe, SPF 30. This is a combination of a physical and chemical sunscreens. There's a lot of debate. You guys are going to hear physical is better. Chemical is better. I have uh, varying degrees. We use two non-sensitizing chemical sunscreens in here in addition to zinc. Zinc is anti-inflammatory naturally. It also helps regulate sebum production. So this is really an effective uh, moisturizer for somebody with acne. You can use it as a moisturizer with SPF by itself if the skin is excessively oily. Micro Moisture is our number one hero moisturizer for active acne, loaded with antioxidants. It's got 5% niacinamide in it, an omega-3-6 blend. It's actually apple fruit based. So this is a really great to, way to get hydration in the skin up without having a lot of oily. It's sheer oil-free, goes into the skin very, very easily. And is, you know, we still have to hydrate when we're uh, talking about acne. A couple different acne safe support products. I just talked a little bit about our C21. Macro moisture is for your clients that might be a little bit more mature. Maybe their skin's a little bit more dry. There is that tetrahexadecal uh, vitamin C ester in there. It's also a little bit more emollient for a drier skin condition. Pore rebalancing toner. Again, if you've got somebody with a thick, oily, resilient skin, they're going to use that as part of their PM routine. All right, so I said all of those things because we're really talking about addressing the root cause of acne and why it is occurring in the skin. And you gotta uh, treat it. It is a multifactorial um, approach to actually treating skin and getting it back in its healthiest state. So our products are designed and our treatments are designed to really treat the root cause of acne. These are called Restoraplex and I gotta credit my business partner. I said, you know, we gotta, these are really complex, really high chemistry level peels, but they restore balance to the skin and microbiome health. And he came up with the term Restoraplex. And I was like, trade market, that's amazing. We're restoring and it's a restorative complex, Restoraplex. These are our three different peels. Um, of course, I will tell you that the you're gonna see a primary difference here with our peels compared to what's happening on the market. I am not a fan of TCA for a couple of reasons. I don't like it for high Fitzpatrick types for the pigmentation, the PIH that can occur. I also don't like it for supporting microbiome health. 
It is also banned in Europe. It is banned in Canada. There's actually some regulation in Texas around it. It is not able to be used in Australia either. So we've chosen to keep TCA out of our peels. You're going to find natural fruit acids, glycolic, salicylic, lactic, in addition to a whole bunch of chiral actives. So again, we do deep dives into that in, into our, uh, in the course, actually talking about cosmetic chemistry. And you learn a lot about specifically, not just about our peels, but about cosmetic chemical exfoliation and what that means. So I'd love to say, this is Will, one of our dermatologists that we re has reviewed our programs. And he's like, you guys have a comprehensive approach to treating acne. I'm like, I know we do, I love it. So what does this mean for what you can do? So my goal, you guys, as a brand owner, founder, is to be accessible to all of you. I have conversations with estheticians every day and I love it. That is why I'm here. I'm passionate about this industry. I'm passionate about tre treating acne. And I, will, I told Maria yesterday, there is nothing, any of you that are on this webinar right now or are watching it in the replay, if you have helped a client clear their skin, they love you. We're already in a heart-centered industry. We have a lot of emotion. This is one of the places where positive touch is part of our treatment protocols. We love our clients. You know, you have clients laying in your bed. They tell you their stories about their kids and their divorce and who they're like, you get to be the therapist at the same time. But we really want to make sure that you, you as the esthetician, have the confidence to give that level of confidence back to your clients that are suffering with acne. So just think about that for a minute. I want you to win your market. Um, this is really about being the expert in your marketplace. And being the expert, you guys, is about educating yourself. Education is the, your ticket to the next level of service mastery in your business. It's all about education. You know, I... This, our platform is actually inspired by my personal education. I finished my degree while I was actually during the pandemic because what else was I supposed to do? <laughs> Ever the world was shut down. So I actually use a university, um, pl a platform that universities use in their formal education for our, our education platform. We're going to offer you, of course, act, adaptive solutions, acting pro certification. I wanted to show you guys, we have a certificate here from somebody that passed the certification. You will get one of these. This is an embossed symbol. This is not just a printout. This is actually really heavy weighted paper to display in your treatment rooms, letting your clients know that you have passed a certification in microbiome health and with a, sp a specific focus in treating acne. This is a proud thing to earn when you go through the course and you actually pass it. It's a rite of passage. So we want to treat you how to be light speed in acne. So the other question that I get, I'll quickly go through these. Um, what am I going to learn during certification? So the majority of this, you guys, is really things that you didn't learn in aesthetic school. So of course, we're going to go over the anatomy and histology of the skin. I also want to just take a minute here and say, this is not just about me and my products and my brand. The majority of our training is about acne, what is going on in the industry, what drugs are happening, what's PCOS, how do I talk about hormones, nutrition, and then of course we go through our products and we go through how to do a, a, a peel treatment and the specific science behind our products. But the majority of this course is about making you the master of all things acne, okay? So the pathology, identifying lesion types and grades, skin diseases and disorders that resemble acne. You know, we have people out there that are, are treating a staph infection. I'm like, oh my gosh, first of all, highly contagious. You need to know what that is and what to look for and say, I can't treat that. Um, internal versus external factors, things that trigger acne through diet, nutrition supplements and medications, tips and guidelines for acne clients, changing their pillowcases, staying away from high iodine foods, no more whey protein, get dairy out of your diet, low, get the sugar down, all these things that contribute to acne, um, comedogenic ingredients. You guys, I have a whole section in the, in the course where I literally want to jump up and down about this because this list has been going around since the 60s, and I have a lot to say about it. <laughs> um, different aesthetic treatments and modalities, things that you're gonna learn about on how people can treat scarring that may or may not be, may be out of scope. Uh, the after effects, product intelligence is what I refer to. That's where we give you a deep dive into all of our formulation. The method of action, what are ingredients actually doing in the skin? This is important for you to know so you can explain it to your customers. Of course, treatment protocols, prescriptive home care, and we don't want you to burn out can't burn out. We got to not be burning out. So I put this together. People ask me in a webinar, I did this. This is a, so I like to say, if I can actually go back, am I able to go back here? I like to say, this is the, what you learn 
and this is the what you learn slide, and this is the what you can earn slide. So this is a single room operator. So we say on our website, triple your service and retail. That is designated for a single room operator, not for the spa. If you are if you already have 30 clients, we're talking about tripling your business from wherever, wherever you're at. So if you're starting from scratch, this is a scenario. This is a real life scenario. We have people that even do better than this from starting with literally five Acne clients and building yourself into a six month business with service and retail combined. So you have the opportunity to treat your clients more frequently. We did this based off of a three week treatment model. You can see your clients every two weeks. Um, we did a hundred dollars service treatment. It could be more or less depart depending on the market that you're in, but there's definitely opportunity for you here to earn. Like there's no question about it. So now I got to push my arrow back this way. That's a learning journey. I'm going to, we'll talk a little bit about that when I get to the slide. So let's get to the juice. Okay. So we want to support your business and we are an independent business supporting independent business. I'm going to move everyone to the left-hand side of my screen. Your success is our success. You guys, we're not, I'm not anything over here without all of my aesthetic family and all of our wish pros bless you for putting your effort in and going through the program and now effectively starting to treat your clients. I love every single second of it. I am here to hold your hand through the process. I'm not sitting in an ivory tower, you guys. I'm in my office every day. You can call me, you can text me, send me pictures. I, I am that brand right now. So we are an independent brand supporting independent business. And we're gonna give you industry leading education. Our education platform is not static. So when new information comes out, we put it in the platform so that you can say, there's a study literally a week ago, and I know I'm running out of time, Maria, so I'll, I'll hurry up but about hyaluronic acid. And actually when you cleanse the face, you're actually disrupting the microbiome. Hyaluronic acid, high weight hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid is actually one of the things that helps bring the skin back to homeostasis the fastest after cleansing. Who would have known that? This is brand new information and brand new research. We got to drop that into the course so that you have that information as well. Um, teaching you how to have a sustainable model with the largest opportunity industry, supporting industry veterans, partnering with a focus team. These are all things that we want to make sure that we're addressing and that we've got on your at your disposal. And I really want to make sure that you're taken care of. So if there's any part that you are struggling in the course and you're like, I don't understand this. So first of all, you can go through the course at your pace. You can log in, log out, say, I'm done with that today. I got to feed my kids. I got to drop my dog off over here at the group, whatever you got to do in your life. I know you're busy. That's why we made the training platform digital. Wherever you left off, you open your laptop, your phone, your iPad, whatever, you log back in, it's going to drop you back where you were. So we do it based on modules. At the end of each module, there is a quiz. You can take that quiz as many times as you need to. You need to pass the quiz at 90% or better before you drop to the next module. Okay? So it's designed by that on purpose. Once you finish all of it, you can jump back in, go around, look at stuff again, watch videos again, whatever you want to do at your pace. It's totally fine. That's up to you. This becomes a learning resource that you have access to. Any of the new information, any of the webinars that we host, any of our new product knowledge, whatever we put in there, that is a forever resource for you to continue to have at your disposal, wherever you are. You're like, oh God, I know in the course that David showed us a picture about subtype two rosacea. And I just need to go look at this picture and see if this actually resembles that. You can log into the course at any time and look at that, okay? So, here is our amazing offer. Now, somebody sent me an offer. I won't say the brand. <laughs> Yesterday, it was actually last night, that somebody's offering a free cleanser. I think it's a free cleanser and a free serum for signing up for the course. And I'm like, you know what? I am way beyond that. We're going to go so much. I dropped my notepad. We're going to go so much above and beyond that because I want you guys to be super, super successful. So I'll tell you exactly what our course costs. It is $1,500. You can, you can buy the course for as little as $130 a month. It gives you the option. We use a, a platform, it's called ShopPay. So it gives you the option. Now this is, I have nothing to do with that. I've had people jump in and say, oh my gosh, David, I, I, it's not letting me do this or I can't do this thing. I don't have any control over it. I don't, we don't even have credit card information. It's all, as you know, with all the privacy laws, we don't have access to that. So I don't get to push buttons and say what your specific, option is for your payment plan and all that good stuff. It's just an option to you. So we, our course is $1,500 with this, with our partnership with Maria, 
we are offering a free welcome kit. So what is a welcome kit? A welcome kit is going to come with this. I should have brought one in my office. It's actually in a different room, different office. I should have brought it in here. <laughs> Steven, sorry, I should have had it on my desk. Um, you get a learning guide. It's a product mastery guide to go through your training and you get one of each product. So as you're going through one of each of the retail products, you get to see, touch, feel, smell, try the products on your own skin, get a really good idea for how the products feel on your own faces. And then as you're going through the training, you can like, this is what he's talking about right now. You know, we're not going to, you know, put clarify 10% on our faces when we don't need this. We're going to make sure we're not putting it on anything with colored fabric because it will bleach fabric. So things that you're going to learn in the course, but you have all of these products to try. Here's the best part. I like to say, put your money where your mouth is. So you can scan this. It'll drop you straight to the page, whatever you want to do. You can go to trywish.com. It'll drop you to the website. You'll click on the, the very first tab is professional. It'll give you information about the, about the course. So you buy the course, you're going to get a welcome kit, gets shipped out to you immediately. This is my incentive for everybody that is on this call right now. So I am not interested in having people just buy the course and never do anything with it. I've had this in my previous life. I'm not interested in that. I really want you guys to be successful. So we're going to incentivize. You get the course. You get through the course in 90 days. People can get, through, I've had people get through the course in three weeks. It's really about how much time you have in your schedule. 90 days is plenty of time to get through the course. There is between the course, the, the quizzes and the training, you've got plenty of time within 90 days to get this course finished. What we're offering you is a $750 product credit at the end of your, when you graduate. So you're going to finish it. This is going to open up. You can spend that product credit however you want. You want to buy retail and say, I'm going to make my money back from this course right here. You can spend it on retail. You can spend it on back bar. You can spend it on a combination of product and retail. It doesn't matter. The only caveat to this is you have to spend it in one transaction. Our system won't let us say, I'm going to spend $50 here and then I'm going to spend $22 next month and 50. It won't let us do that. So you'll get a $750 product credit on your account so that you can actually place your order and say, I want this level of product. So how are you going to get this? You're going to go to the website. You're going to use code money-making during your checkout process. And this is going to give you the option to have this. So here's the other piece of this that I want to make sure everybody knows about. This is not a, I've emailed people before. This is not a cattle call. I'm not interested in having 500 people. So this is a limited offer. I'm not gonna let it go above and beyond 50 people because I really am encouraging every one of you that goes through this program to be successful. So once we move through that 50, on this next slide, you'll have some contact information. You can call me and say, David, I want this offer. I saw it six months ago. I will work with you. But again, I'm really inspired by making sure that each one of you that goes through this program is successful. And if that means a marketing question, you need to do a marketing call with me. You need to send me a picture of a skin that you need to treat and I will help you create a protocol. I'm down for that. I'm here to help you. We are onboarding right now, um, Wish Pro. We're, I will call them brand ambassadors. They're literally, one of them just got product. I went and trained her a week and a half ago in Arizona. We're gonna be able to refer out to some people that will actually help with the training so that you guys will always have a resource available to you um, to get your questions answered. So it is not does not go lost on me um, that some people need additional help above and beyond. So this is how you get in touch with us. So I want to thank everybody who spent time doing this. If you're watching this webinar in the future, you can always email support at wishskinhealth.com. It drops right into my inbox. It is not going somewhere crazy. You'll get direct access to me. All of our social handles, Instagram, Wish Skin Health. We're on Facebook. We have a Wish Pro site, which we're going to consolidate into Wish Skin Health because that is Wish Skin Health. Um, you can follow us on those pages and just see what we're doing posting. And I just want you to look at our Instagram pages, guys. If you see all of the reels and things we posted, know that all of those things are available to you. Once you get through and you're in the certification, you'll actually, it's in the, the module that goes over how to use our website, how to place a professional order. You can then download all of those items, whatever you feel is, is going to be the most effective for you and start posting reels and getting people excited about your, your specific brand. So I'm going to open it up. I know that was a lot. I talk fast. So that's a lot of information. If you need to watch this again, we'll repost it. But Maria, let's see if we've got any questions that you would like me to answer. If I can get into oh, the chat. Say, Do you have before and after pictures? Is there a minimum order required? Repurchase. I, 
I love that question. So we are, a, so I love this, you guys. So I wake up on the weekend and everyone has access to me, right? I'm like, I probably should be crazy because I give everybody my cell phone number, like whatever. And people text me, they're texting me like, oh my gosh, David, look at this, look at her skin. It's been three weeks of treatment. So what we're doing is we're assembling um, all of our before and afters that are coming in so we can do posts. So here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to be the brand like, look at me and look at our before and afters. We want to make sure that credit is given to the esthetician that provided the services and the protocol that they use to get those results. So I can, I get the pictures all the time. I'm putting them all in a file, but then we got to go do our due diligence because the esthetician didn't ask the client if it was okay to share their picture. <laughs> and I don't want to be the brand that's pushing up people's pictures that they haven't given permission for us to use their pictures. So that's just something to note. As you start taking pictures, we talk about consultation uh, in the course, thorough consultation, taking pictures on each treatment, showing your client their results, and also being able to like troubleshoot. You know, with other estheticians, we have a forum inside the, the, the platform that lets you talk to other people. So we will have before and afters that we'll start posting. Um, second part of the question is, do we have a minimum order? So I know this is a hotbed for a lot of estheticians. The answer is no, you guys. We don't have any minimum order requirements. So right now it's $250, you get free shipping. It is going to go up in 2024, most likely to a $500 threshold, but you pay shipping based off wherever you're located. So we, we have all of our order fulfillment is done every day by 5 p.m. Pacific time. So if you place an order, usually before 3 p.m. Pacific, we are going to uh, make sure that your order goes out the same day um, that you place it. $250 gets you free shipping. There is no minimum order threshold requirements. I'm not going to tell you you have to spend so much money with me. That's for you and your business. And we do that one-on-one. -on -one. So I see a question here about Canada. Unfortunately not, you guys. Somebody sent me a direct message from Australia a week ago and also from France, which I love all the attention. This is a global group. Right now, um, the FDA regulates products that are sold in the United States. And in order, we have to go through Health Canada, which requires relabeling um, and registration. We have to go through e registration, which is a multiple year process to distribute in Europe. You got to go through the TGA in Australia um, to get distribution. So we are just focused on the United States. So this offer, you guys, you're, of course, I'm open. You can take the education wherever you are. You will not have access to our products if you are outside of the United States. Um, when is the last day this offer is going to be available? I haven't graduated from esthetician school yet. This is from, it's, as you pronounce your name, it's a, I love it. It's a Castro. So this offer is going to be available through the end of the month or until we sell through all of them. Um, we're again, you guys, I'm here. I'm just, I'm not interested in having 5,000 people jump on us at one time. We're a team of six people. We got to really be careful how much we actually bring on at a time. Um, Carolyn Huerta, the, the cost of the course is $1,500. You can break that up into monthly payments. And that's when you go through checkout on our website, you have options to do that. And then of course, like I said, you get the, let me scroll back up here. You get a $750 product credit when you complete, um, in 90 days. Let's see. Favorite yes, yes, yes. Is, Pardon? so it is, what is the average cost for a client treatment? So I personally, and I just brought up somebody who I just did last week. Um, she did a wish. I charge 120 for a teen facial. She got a confidently clean, which was $34. Uh, the toner, which is $48. Uh, vitamin C, 62. Micro uh, moisture, 36. SPF 34 and a detox, which was 28. And that came out to $383 with one treatment. Yes. Yeah, so I love that. I love this question. And I want to tell you guys right now. So our price points are very, very attainable. So when somebody comes in for a new treatment, Maria obviously did a beautiful treatment and then sent that product person home with the right amount of home care. Our products are all set up in airless pumps. I don't know if you notice the pictures. Can you see that? They're all in airless pumps and they're meter dosed. So when I do, I'm just going to do one little pump there. This is the correct amount of product that you need for your face and neck to do your whole entire face and neck. So when you're doing your education with your clients, we train one pump for your cleanser, one pump for your serums, moisturizer and SPF based on the size of your face. Some people are putting on their hands and arms. That's okay. But the products are like a BPO product for us is $22 is the entry level. So that clarify could be in the regimen or a Mandelic serum. 
but the vitamin C is the most expensive uh, product, which is $62 at retail, which I know you guys that are out there working with vitamin Cs, they're a lot more expensive than that. That's the most expensive product. Part of my mission as a brand and the reason why I'm not having a hundred reps driving around and blowing up the environment, like I've done that, I've managed that. It's 2023, I don't, I'm not interested in, I mean, I, I don't wanna get on an environmental tangent, but we just had a hurricane in California. We need to really take a think about our impact. And I wanna make sure that we're keeping our organization very, very flat. And in order to keep our prices really low, we have to keep our organization flat. So that's how we obviously do that. So I would say, um, Anna, you're asking, what is the average cost for a client treatment plan in retail? So I have people that charge $85 for a treatment. You don't need all the bells and whistles of a traditional facial. And we teach you this in the course. We're, it's not about the towels and the sheets and all of this. Like you literally, clients don't even have to get under a blanket when you're doing an acne treatment. The basis of an acne treatment is cleansing, uh, toning, chemical exfoliation, extractions, and putting on an SPF or moisturizer and they're on their way. When you get really, really good at this, you can be booking 30 minute treatments. Clients can come in as often as every two weeks for chemical exfoliation. So I've seen $85 on the lower end. I've seen $150 on the higher end. It's really dependent on where you're practicing. And then I tell every client when they come in for the first time, when they call and they say, how long is it gonna take to clear my acne? Talk about this in the consultation. I can't tell you over the phone. On average, so let's just say a mild to moderate inflamed acne client, it's gonna take about 90 days. So that is gonna be an average 45, 50 day refill of products. And then coming in for multiple professional treatments, that is the fastest way to get your clients clear. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Let's see, standard treatment. Okay, I love that Georgia. See, listen, literally you're reading my mind because I hadn't even scolded that question yet. Um, can you send the link on where to enroll in the course? Okay, we've got that. All right, so if there's any other questions, let me know. Again, if you're watching this in the future, so Carolyn Huerta is saying, so you can't purchase any product to try this line without investing in the course. If you want to try certain products, Carolyn, I, again, there's no they, you're talking to me, I own the company. <laughs> I will help you with whatever you wanna, whatever you're interested in. We do ship with the course a welcome box that goes, that's all of the products. Um, but this is an investment in your education. So yeah, so the other question is we get, can I get, a, is, is this refundable? Is the course refundable? No, a digital product, once you release it to the network, it is not, it's not refundable. When we release the information out, you guys, I spent over three years developing this course. It's a lot of love, sweat and tears. It will continue to get better. I'm always updating constant new information. We used a brand new technology, but yeah, if you have, if there's a specific product you want to try, I know there's people in here that have talked to me and have called me directly and said, yo, David, help me with this client. And then they buy the course a week later. I'm totally open to that. I'm not, I'm here. I want you guys, we're a new growing brand and I'm not, there is no, they you answer, call, talk to me. I will help you out. That's so cool. if there's any, go ahead, Maria. I said, that's so cool. We just want to make it accessible. You know, I, there's going to be, we're going to continue to grow and we're going to continue to launch products. I've got Azelaic serums in the works. I've got retinoid serums in the works. Um, I've got some different SPFs in the works. Like products take a long time, you guys, to go through the whole ideation thing. I'm becoming actually a formal cosmetic chemist because I'm so passionate about formulation. I know I say, you know, when you know how to cook, you know how to cook. Um, I'm taking it up a level because I really, every time I'm having a conversation with a cosmetic chemist, I'm very knowledgeable in this. I've worked very closely with formulation for my career. I understand ingredient technologies, but I'm like, let's take this to the next level. Just like you guys are going to invest in acne education, I'm investing continually in my education to continue to support my initiatives as a brand. And that's really bringing high level products that are going to knock it out of the park. I really so, want to encourage you guys because we have till 1230 and you guys have David uh, here. You have Mr. Acne Expert here. So I hope that you guys feel brave enough and safe enough to like turn on your mics ask the acne questions. We also have the chat, like take, what I hope for that chat is for you guys to take a picture of this client and be like, I have no idea what to do. That's what I did. That's how I learned. And I would post it into the group and people would be like, this is what you're going to do. And then I would be like, so, and then I pretend like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> you had to fake it. <laughs> you fake it till you make it. And you know what, you guys, the, 
the treating acne successfully there, this is not like, I'm just going to do a hydrating facial and I do it on all my clients and I get this relatively glowy client and they get off my table and they're like, acne is a, it's like, it's a multifactorial skin. So the dermatologists refer to it as a disease. We call it a skin condition. It's a treatable skin condition in our course. You are going to, this is where you become the expert because we literally want you to have the information to say, how do I go through this treatment adaptation? People's client, there's, your skin is changing. And when you start becoming a little bit more tolerant to actives, you can say, you know what? It's time to move you up to maybe we're going to take you up to a 5% now because you're, we've reached a clearing pause in your, on your clearing journey. We want to actually adjust this. We're going to do a different level of chemical exfoliation for you. It's really treating the client where they're at. And the, yes, that chat is designed to be like, throw your questions, throw your pictures in there. Here's what I can tell you that what I've noticed. When people jump in there and they're like, I use this and I use that, and I use this and I use that and I use this. And I'm like, listen, there's not, there's a lot of great products on the market. We develop this system as a system specifically to treat acne. So I'm not, I'm not going to say, yes, use this mask from this brand and use that serum from this brand and use this moisturizer from this brand and get this cleanser from this brand. This has been specifically developed for acne. So this is, I want to, I want to make it clear. Like we're going to be, we're, I'm going to give you responses in that group that have to do with the products that I've personally formulated. And I have, I can talk about expertly. Um, Georgia Nixon, does um, your course also cover how to help clear someone via virtual aesthetic support coaching? I love this question, Georgia. And somebody just asked me this yesterday. So you're going to take your knowledge from the course. So to answer the question is no, I haven't gone through. I will actually add a module on how to do it because I believe it's there are some people you can support, especially as everyone's going back to school. This question actually came about from somebody in Wisconsin whose client was leaving to go to New York to go to school. So you're going to take your knowledge and information. And yes, you can support somebody virtually. Everybody that was doing Zoom calls with their clients during the pandemic you are FaceTime or whatever, you can continue to support people virtually. You're going to take your knowledge that you learn in the course, and that's going to be how to do it. You're obviously going to have people that are going to send you pictures of their face up close. You're going to take, they're going to, you're going to be able to look at the client in real time and then be able to make an assessment if their um, skin is responding to treatment or to address those products. So yes, that's on my to-do list of things to do, but it's really just going to build off of your foundation of what you learn in the course. I kind of love that because that's something I really wanted to tap into in 2024 is like just mailing out these products virtual. You got, you know what? So we're, the, I'll give you some, you know, behind the scenes, like someone's asked me, what's my, it says wish pro. <laughs> um, it's not just ish or swish. It is wish my t-shirt is wish pro. Um, we have a, we're going to grow with you as a brand. So Acne rosacea, Carolyn, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, subtype two, postular rosacea. Absolutely. You can treat. Um, traditional rosacea is usually, um, uh, and it's an inflammatory skin condition and it's a lot of diet related, hormone related, but you can subtype two. Absolutely. We go through that in the course on how to treat that. Um, I was just going to tell you that as we continue to grow, um, we're looking at drop shipping options. Some clients want to like, you know, I want you to ship products directly. Our system is not set up to support that today, but we're looking at, I've been having conversations yesterday about different options for how we can do that. Um, specific products I'm working, I'm always going to be an ideation, you guys formulating products. So you can always say to me, you know what? I've used this product before David, and you should really take a look at that. Of course, I'm going to jump on it. I'm going to do the research at it. I have access to a little, I call it my little, like it's my, it's not a full laboratory, but I can create, I do hundred gram batches of product and we can test and see, you know, what does this feel like on the skin, the texture, all of those things. I have raw material manufacturer relationships with raw materials from all over the world. We use extracts from New Zealand. Most of the actives people don't realize they're mostly coming from Europe. Um, it's a lot of the ingredients that go into our products come from Europe. So I have these relationships and can formulate products pretty quickly. Kim is saying, David, oh, Kim, oh my gosh, that's so nice. What about pregnancy and breastfeeding safe? What would, what, would that be everything but the acid? So Salicylic acid, so traditional things. So this is a, a great question, Kim, and I love it. And I appreciate the compliment. It means the world to me. Thank you. Um, we get a lot of questions about what, how do I treat clients with acne that have preg they're pregnant? It's so interesting because you guys, it's it varies based on country. Things we say in the US, um, <clears throat> some 
some, some literature will say, don't do chemical peels on a pregnant client. And you know what, depending on the chemical peel, if you're gonna do a very, very aggressive chemical peel, I would say that's probably not the best thing for especially a late stage pregnancy. Like we don't wanna induce labor while someone's on your treatment table. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Azelaic acid is a great product. Um, things that we say that we traditionally stay away from, retinoids, salicylic acid are contraindicated in the US. We always say, ask their physician. A lot of physicians say it's not a problem. Use those products, but as a brand, we say avoid those items. Usually hydroxy acids are okay. So in the alpha category, people can still use lactic acid. Our number one, our peel number one is the lactic acid-based treatment with a bunch of chiral amino acids. It's a 30% L-lactic acid treatment. It's safe. So those are the things. When we have the azelaic serums, um, yes, I would say stronger peels, um, stronger retinoids, and you know, salicylic acid. It's really about the client and their physician if they say yes or no. But generally, we say avoid those things uh, while treating acne for somebody that's pregnant. Anybody else? I love the interaction and I love it. So as we've said on the screen, support at wishskinhealth.com. Make sure if you're going to go by the course, money making us just use that code in your checkout. Make sure you're going to get that um, box. I know Stephen is watching this. I'm, I'm hoping that the code is already active. <laughs> I will check after to make sure. If you have any follow-up questions, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I, I literally, what Maria just said, do not be shy. I want you to be, I, there's nothing here. There's no wrong question. And there is no point of, of your training that you should feel shy about. As you can tell, I'm very extroverted. That's my personality type. And I love skin and I love at treating acne and I love formulation. I love products. I definitely, Steven said, yes, the code is active. Thank you, Steven, appreciate it. Um, I definitely feel like I wanna meet you where you're at. So if you're just graduating from school, you know, we've been doing, um, there is a, an aesthetic school that's literally within five minutes of our office and I love it. So I roll over there, I'm like, this is the best because it takes me five minutes to get there. Um, I wanna meet you where you're at. So if you are a brand new esthetician or you've been treating acne, and you're like, I understand microbiome health, or I understand my clients have been using, I've been using this brand for a while and I'm just, I'm stuck. And I'm just, the skin is kind of like not lifeless and it's gray and what do I do? I'm gonna help you wherever you're at. And I will also be the first person to tell you guys, I don't have anything in my brand right now that can help you. And here's a product that I think you could, you know, use this for. So I'm not afraid to recommend other products. I appreciate other indie brand owners. I'm, we're all in this industry together. There is not a shortage of business for all of us. So we're, we're not competing with each other. We're literally out there to support each other. And that's why I love this forum so much. Um, Heather from Holistically Beautiful says, thank you so much for this time. You've been so informative. I look forward to taking the course. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate that. Um, thank you so much. This is a really great Zoom and you're so fun and knowledgeable. I love it. I appreciate it, you guys. So Maria, if there's anything else, you guys, email us, text us, go look at our website, find some more information. If you have more questions, by all means, and I would love to see you guys uh, successful with treating acne. So thank you. I would love to keep the conversation going in the chats. And hopefully the next live, and I was telling David, I was like, now let's do a live on how to market yourself and structure yourself as an expert with an acne focused business. I'm so passionate. Yes. about. It. I'm really hoping everybody gets so much information and success. I'm excited. And so, yeah, you guys, you know, I know that the, all the mechanics of treating acne is, uh, you know, you got to really understand the skin and there's inflammatory mediators and technical stuff that you need to become experts at. And those are things that we're going to teach you, obviously. And then the next thing is, okay, David, how do I market myself? What do I do now? How do I, what do I, what should I post? That's why we're working on making sure that you have reels available to you. You've got ingredient imagery. And I'm talking, I'm not talking about 10 pictures. I'm talking like a hundred reels you can choose from. Thank you, Stephen. I'm talking about all of the ingredient imagery, anything that's on our, our website, you can use on your own website. You can put in your own Instagram feed, all of it. Put your links and tags and just go for it. Like promote your business, promote products. I want you guys, I want all of this, the retail in our industry is underestimated. It is a powerhouse. It will pay for your college education, your kid's college education. It will pay for your house. It will pay for your new car. It will pay for your retirement. It is underestimated and you have a really big opportunity with focusing on acne to have a really substantial business. And it doesn't fluctuate with the economy and what's going on with the nightly news. You know, we're getting ready to roll into 
an election cycle, which I don't want to talk politics, but you know it's always a bumpy ride in specifically in the US with what's going on in the news and it affects the economy and house sales and all of that. You know what your clients with acne, they don't care. They're coming to you to get their treatments and their products and their support from you. It doesn't matter. You're creating a sustainable business model. So that is my goal. Neon, Patrick, thank you for the information you provided today. Thank you for attending. I appreciate you. Um, all right, you guys. Thank you so much, Maria. If there's anything else, we'll let everybody go and you know, email us if you have any questions. Thank you. All right, guys, have a great day.